Nimekuwa na muda mzuri wa kumuuliza Mungu kuhusu hiki si na na Mungu aliniambia mambo mazuri sana na ndio nataka kuwaletea leo na mtanisaidia kupambana na uchawi. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana aliniambia kwamba kisi kisi na niseme Kenya kijumla ameipatia climate nzuri. Na nimekuwa nikisema mambo haya na ninarudia kwa sababu kuna kitu Mungu anataka kuattain kwa maisha yenu. Kisi ina climate nzuri. Ni kweli ama ni uongo? Ha? Ni kweli ama ni uongo? So God speaks the truth always. Anasema amepatia eneo la kisi climate nzuri. Na pia akaniambia ametupatia chakula cha kutosha. Ni vigumu kukutana na mkisi ambaye amekonda kama acharogwa. Wakisi wengi mimi nikiwa mmoja wao kitu tunafanya ni bidii tusinone. Tunafanya mazoezi tuna <laughs> So God told me he has given us enough food. Tunakubaliana? Yes. Wangapi mnakubaliana na Yesu? Yes. Number three. Bwana akaniambia i ametupea uwezo wa kufanya bidii. We are very hard working people. Alinipa mfano mzuri kwamba ukipeleka mkisi kwa mfano mahali popote hata kama ilikuwa ni kichaka enda pale baada ya wiki moja utajua mkisi alifika hapa hata kama ni Tanzania ama Kajiado mahali popote kile kichaka kitarudi chini mara moja na utaona mimea tofauti ikikaa pande ile very hard working na Lifespan ya wa Kenya inafaa kuwa miaka 120 ikipungua. There are factors kuna mambo yanafanya lifespan ya wa Kenya na wakisi kupungua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua Biblia inasema Mungu anataka atusaidie tuishi maisha yetu yote kitabu cha kutoka Exodus 23 verse 25 nataka niwasaidie muishi maisha yenu yote Mungu anaanza kwa kusema nitayaondoa magonjwa si ndio kwa sababu magonjwa ndio yanasababisha watu maisha yao kupungua Na Mungu anataka waishi maisha yao yote. Na maisha because Biblia kwa Kiingereza nasema that you may live your complete lifespan. Lifespan hata serikali inajua lifespan ya wa Kenya, lifespan ya wa Marekani, lifespan ya wa Indi. Na mimi mahali Mungu aliniweka Nilimuuliza lifespan yetu inafaa kuwa miaka mingapi? Mungu akaniambia kwamba tukipungukiwa inafaa kuwa miaka 120. Are you there? Yes. But why? Why are people dying even at 20? Is it by chance? Is it by design? Is it accidental? All it is planned. Kama tuko na climate nzuri. Unajua mambo haya ninaongea if you are not a spiritual researcher yatakupita. If you are not a spiritual researcher yatakupita. Wacha hii research ya kawaida. Lazima ufanye utafiti wa kiroho ndio uweze kupatia watu mwelekeo ulio sahihi Bwana apewe sifa 120 years siku hizi watu wanaishi siku chache tu unaanza kusikia wanasema oh tutakufa 
Oh, mimi naona nitaenda. Ah, ah, what is the problem? Because things which support life are available. And not just life, they support long life. Adequate food, conducive climate, ability to produce because we are very hard working. Then why is our lifespan reduced? Zaidi ya climate, zaidi ya ya, ya hard working, zaidi ya chakula, muko na roho mtakatifu. Can you believe that? Muko mbaka na roho mtakatifu si aje anakuongeza maisha, anatetea. That you already have a defense on the inside of you. But again you are dying. Kwa hiyo kama kuna watu wa kuishi maisha marefu zaidi ya watu wengine, ni nyinyi mliopokea roho mtakatifu. Wengine wakiendaenda na eta we uko hapo. Lakini Mungu akaniambia shida ya maeneo haya na hata kwa taifa la Kenya si ukosefu wa chakula au climate mbaya au failure to work hard tunafanya kasi kwa bidii tunachakalika lakini shida yetu ni moja ni uchawi which class is the number one contributor to a reduced lifespan in our region which class because god told me 78% 78% of the problems we are facing they are orchestrated by the evil forces. Kuna matatizo mengine yanaweza yakatokea kupitia kwa hali ya hanga, hali ya hewa ama mafuriko. Kwanza kisia hakuna mafuriko. Ili machi ya kusombe lazima uwe mrefu ama mtoto. Because we are living in the Kisi Islands. Our place is a bit mountainous. Kwa hiyo ni vigumu machi kukusomba. The Lord told me that 78% of the problems including the diseases and the kind of demons around this area poverty suicide 78% of our problems are orchestrated by evil forces and the evil force number 1 in Kisi is the retrogressive spirit of witchcraft That's a force you must reckon with. Na kama shida yetu ni uchawi. Suruhu yetu ni gani? Mungu akaniambia haya matabau ya gospel embassy ni suruhu. It is an answer to your long time prayer. And once we combine our effort we will bring down every spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Every problem we are facing every problem we are facing is shida ya kuolewa miaka miwili hivi watu wameachana shida ya kutoolewa kuna watu wanafanya matambiko kuna watu wewe unaweza ukaifa life is not innocent In physics we, we, we speak about cause and effect. Whatever you see as a origin, the origin can be physical or invisible. It has an origin. Nothing happens from nowhere. Everything happens from somewhere. Every negative thing as it is source. Every positive thing as it is source. There are, one of these days you'll be shocked. You'll be surprised. When you will come acro across a book that contains what you're going through and it will also be contain your name, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Ndio ndio utanikumbuka. Sasa hii unaniona kama story, kama mwana historia. Lakini siku hiyo utaona kwa kitabu imeandikwa, huyu James Ombuoli atapata shida ya kuharisha namna hii, mkundu utatoka nje ataanza na mgongo alafu ataenda kwa hospitali tutamtembelea that's when you will come to know 
that there is a force behind which has a plan on how to eliminate you. Lakini leo hii nikiongea kwa kanisa kwa sababu hatutamei kwa ufuno mmoja unaniangalia kama mwana historia. I don't mind to become your historian. But very soon I will become your futuristic destiny carrier. Hallelujah. 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 Are we connected to this? Utakuta mahali imeandikwa watoto wako hawatabariza shule, watapata di utakuta imeandikwa mpaka grade ambayo watapata. Ndio utachua pastor Morobe kumbe amefanya utafiti wa kiroho. Aya mama mnapitia utakuta mahali imeandikwa watoto wako hawataolewa, wataana miaka miwili wakirudi. Na ukiangalia katika hali halisi utakundua kweli ni kweli. Utakuta mahali imeandikwa familia yenu haitachomoka, haitakunywa pombe baka mwisho. Kuna vitabu vinaandikwanga mambo ya watu. Shida ya hapa kisi ni uchawi. Na lazima tuungane mikono ya kiroho tukabidhiana na uchawi bila kujali misingi yetu ya ya ya, ya, ya kidini. We must come close. We must come together. Somebody has got to join me and we win. We win together. Hallelujah. Unajua desturi ya mbinguni wakati wanataka kukumaliza mbingu inakuongeza na ongezeka tu. That is the custom of heaven. When they want to reduce you you increase. Waliona waisraeli wanaongezeka Misri wakasema tuwapatie kasi ngumu na maisha magumu ndio wapungue. Walipoangalia baadaye wakapata the numbers are increasing. We are ordained for increase no matter how you want to reduce us. Hallelujah. Shout I am born again. I am born again. For signs and wonders. Shout again I'm born again. For signs. Wonders and miracles. You believe in what you are shouting? Shout a bigger hallelujah. Now the Lord told me this. We have two options. Naona haya magonjo mko nao yote. Aya magonjo yako na mwanzo wake. Nikwambie kwa nini? Unasikia mgongo vibaya na kuwekea mkono, unasikia tena vizuri. Unajua ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu ni kitu kidogo kimeanza na mtu na kinamalizwa na mtu. Kuna mtu alikituma, unajua Biblia inasema kuna magonjo yanatumwa usiku na mengine mchana. Na sasa sisi tumetumwa. Magonjo yanatumwa na mimi nimetumwa. Yametumwa ya kuangamiza na mimi nimetumwa nilete wokofu na ukombozi kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa hiyo kama kuna chochote kilichotumwa, uniangalie vizuri na mimi nimetumwa. Kilifanywa kifanye kazi na mimi ninaondoa hiyo kazi yake. Tunapiga marufuku kwa jina la Yesu. Biblia inasema kuna magonjo yanatumwa mchana. Mengine usiku na sisi tumetumwa so that we can bring an end to whatever that has been sent by the devil God said I will give you power whatever that is evil you will stop it I'm walking with the power and the capacity to stop anything that intends to stop you hallelujah Ayo magonjo yote pamoja na kome yanatibiwa hospitalini haimaanishi hayana wenyewe It's not a must for everybody to be sick Hasa Mungu akaniambia tuko na option We only have two options Option number one. Wacha hii ya kuwa wachawi hiyo haitawamaliza Option number one. ambayo haiko practical ni kukusanya wajawi wote wakiwemo mababu zenu wakiwemo mahango zenu wa... kukusanya wajawi wangapi what wakiwemo mama zenu hiyo ndio option number one. wakiwemo waganga tukusanye wote tupeleke red lakini hiyo ukijaribu serikali itakuwa mkono wa serikali utakufuata. Kwa hiyo hiyo option ni nzuri lakini sio practical maana wachawi tunawajua. Hata kama uchaokoka ni rahisi kujua mchawi. 
wakisi wameme wakasema abarogi momani ile motigi ile abarogi toba manyete toba tigete we know them Hello. Yes. Lakini option ya pili ni kuishi na wao. Lakini sisi wenyewe tufanyike namna awawezane na sisi. Yes. Na hiyo ndio kazi ninafanya hapa. I am building a generation that is unlogable. <laughs> Hallelujah. We shall empower you, build your, your spiritual capacity, build your spiritual muscles, that when they want to be with you, you don't die. Yani kuumba kisasi ambacho kinasema, tunajua wapo lakini we shall not die. Hey, they may want to kill us. Ile bibiri nasema, a thousand may, may fall uh, alongside your way. I know the enemies will come for you. But because the Lord is on your side, you are not going to fall. You shall remain. Bibili nasema, baada ya kupigana, utapaki kama umesimama. Utapigo from every side. Hallelujah. But because you trust in the Lord, you shall remain like Mount Zion. That shall never be removed. But that binds forever. Wachairu wanasema, utanguka nagari, unatokea huko nagari. Wanasema hauta chifungua unatokea na mimba ya mapacha. Haya. Wanasema utakuwa broke una, unachukua change unawapatia kama MP 200. Wanasema watoto wako hawatasome wanasikia ni mapilot ni madaktari. Eh. Hey! That's why we are here. We are not here as fools. We are here because we know who we have accepted. He who is in us is greater. Tunamjua. Msiogope. Twende mbele. He will always be with you. He will always be for you. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. The Lord my Father is on your side. And if God is on your side, who can be against you? Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. They will be there. But they will go ahead of you. Au taenda mbele yao. Kila wakati wakiingia kwenye kamati kujadili habari zako, wanachosema ni kimoja tu, niache ametushinda. Na kibona hatu sinyaika. Wataongea miaka kumi, utawashinda, miaka ishirini utawashinda. Hata ule Germany ataenda bado wala. Itafika mahali watasema achana na huyo oitira bantu waito golire. Hallelujah. Halo! Mimi nikamwambia Yesu nimekubali option ya pili. Sasa ile wanasema si watoto wangu hawaolewi, wanaalikwa kwa harusi. Wanaalikwa kwa harusi. Halo! Wakati ile wanasema duka yako itakuja chini, wanakupata kwa duka nyingine. Wanakuuliza wana, wana wanakuuliza hii nyingine ni ya nani? Unawaambia hapana ile ile customer walikuwa wengi nikafungua branch. <laughs> Wakati wana wakati wanakutana wanasema omba a, omba pastor Murobe afunge kanisa ninafungua ibada ya Jumapili Jumatano Na inacha Hallelujah Huyo ndio Yesu Wanaji hata kuna wengine walikuja hapa wakajikua udongo hadi ndio kanisa ifunge Hapa ukitaka kufunga hii kanisa ni kumbe siri chukua Yesu waja kuchukua udongo Maana sisi chiwe letu ni nani? Yes. Wakati amjui tuko kwa nani? Tuko kwa Yesu. Tuko hivyo kwa Yesu. Yesu akaniambia niwaambie hivi. Mshikilie imani. Maana imani ndio ngao yenu. Akisema imani ni ngao, anajua kuna wenye mishare, kuna wenye mikuki. Wataendelea kurusha na watakuwa nanyi siku zote. Lakini chukua nini? Imani. Na saidia yote. Mpokee roho mtakatifu. We know our Lord Jesus. Mimi nampenda Yesu. 
And by the way, wengine wengine waliwawekea mambo mengine hata hayo madeni mko nayo. Yaa na wenyewe. Wao ndio wengine waliangalia biashara wakasema hii itarudi chini na mimi nimekuletea habari itainuka tena. Na huu ni uhakika wa madhabahu hii ambako mnaabudia. Hakuna kitu cha maisha yako kuanzia sasa kitakosa mwendo wa mbio akita delay. Ninaondoa roho ya delay kwa vitu zako kwa jina la Yesu. Kama walidhani utaondoka utakufa hivi hivi. They are wasting their time. Mungu aliniambia jana kwamba watu wanaojaribu kuniroga ni kama mtu ako na mbegu anajaribu kupanda juu ya mawe. Maana mimi nimefanyika mmoja wa familia ya Yesu. Na Yesu ni chiwe, hiyo familia ni ya mawe. Is the rock of ages. Yesu akaniambia jana kwamba mbegu peke yake itakayomea juu ya mawe ni mbegu ya maji. Na mnaijua? Mnaijua mbegu ya maji? Karibu kila kitu Mungu alichoumba kina mbegu yake. Kuna vile unaweza ukaiproduce isipokuwa maji na mawe. 